What's going on people? Welcome to the family. I'm going over here. And today I'm going to be showing you or teaching you how to understand two point perspective and one point perspective. So in this tutorial we're just going to be focusing on these two. The uh, other three we're going to be doing like three point perspective and four point some other time. So but what you want to keep in mind is that static lines they they only exist in two point perspective let me straighten this okay so static lines only exist in two point perspective and in one point perspective perspective and static lines are just straight lines they just, they just go up and down that's it that's the only direction that they go you know if and however they do change in height okay so we have bigger static lines and then we have smaller static lines okay and then we have even smaller static lines. Now, why would we be changing the distance? Well, that means that, you know, from further away, you'll see like a smaller static line here. Okay, this is like distance. This is basically like illustrating distance. And this right here is like a bigger static line. So that means that it's close up. You know, this is like, you know, in the middle. So, yeah, it's like balanced in some way. So keep, keep, just keep that in mind. We're going to be doing a lot of static lines and they don't really change much unless you're doing height okay and w which we are going to do for distance so you you may have uh, seen this drawing a long time ago when you were a little kid and th this drawing is basically uh this a just a sun meeting the uh, the ground right and you know lollipop trees you may have seen this before so what, what this what this is is the horizon line or vanishing line okay if you look from like a distance like if you look I, I get okay you're like at the beach and you look from a distance you'll see like the the um, the skyline meeting the ocean at a certain point of time and the same thing goes for you know land you know it's meeting the land at a certain point in time so this so the horizon line depicts that the land is meeting the sky at some yeah the land meets the sky that's basically what the horizon line is you know and you want to keep it straight and we're going to be using this we're going to be placing our vanishing points on these and i'm going to like explain just in a minute okay so like I said the horizon line we're gonna draw it here so we're gonna draw what we're gonna do for our frame here we're going to be drawing buildings looking down at us and if buildings are looking down at us that means that the horizon line is going to be downward okay and you want it to be as straight as possible I'm, I'm at a really uncomfortable position at the moment so yeah so okay so you want it to be a, a, as straight as possible for accuracy, you know, and we're going to place our points. Yeah, we're going to place our points here. We're going to do two point perspective. Why well, it's called two points? Because we have two vanishing points. Okay. We're going to place our points here and place our points here. Now, one thing to note: so let's say I'm, I want to increase the size of it. I'm, I'm just going to like zoom in on this, right? Let's just say this is Photoshop or so. And we're zooming in on that vanishing point. Okay. One, one thing to keep in note. As you're rotating your ruler, you want to make sure that your ruler is on that vanishing point. You know? As you're rotating and, like, drawing your buildings, you want to make sure that it's on this vanishing point. Okay? Etc. Just as you keep rotating and, and rotating and rotating this way, as well you just want to make sure that it's always on the vanishing point you know you don't want it like going here or going there like if, if you have it going here it's gonna be like off balance and the line is not gonna like calculate right the, the calculation is going to be right when you're right here okay so we're on this point right here okay so we're going to just erase it J just use that same principle for this small point for these two two small points right here Okay, so we're going to be drawing the buildings looking down at us. 
okay and the horizon line is right here this is where the sun meets it okay it meets the land you know so um right now i guess we can start with a static line okay static lines don't really change much okay this just illustrates distance okay we have this static line Okay. Okay, so yeah, static lines don't really change much. They're just, you know, static. They only change in height. So, right now, we're going to be uh, getting our lines, the lines going this way from here. Any lines that are coming from this direction are being controlled by this vanishing point here. Okay, so as we rotate our, our ruler, we have that, we have that, we can like rotate it here to have another building come up. And buildings are basically just boxes, you know, just imagine you're, ma you're, you're just making one side of a box, okay. So we have that, and remember I'm staying within this vanishing point, okay, even for the doors, you know. Even doors have like static things and whatnot. They have the static lines as well. So I'm going to draw a static line for this door right here. Let me see if I can zoom in. Okay. Yeah, we zoomed in. So this is all of this, all of these lines here. They're all, all this. I have like uh, four lines. So one, two, three, four. All this is coming from here. Okay, and these are static lines, they just stay static. So, we're, I'm going to draw my door right here. And that's one of our doors here. And uh, that's that's one side of it. We can do our windows as well. But you, it's, the same, it's basically the same thing as the door. They also have like static lines. And so... You just want to keep like matching it with this for accuracy like I did with the door like I did with the buildings right here you know the these lines they belong to this static lines belong to you okay you control these lines okay they're they're just static they just change in distance and and, and how far you go and, and so so right now we're going to be uh, doing this point okay to do the other side of the building. And you know, static lines. You can do whatever height that you want. It's up to you, really. We can like rotate it as well. And that's basically a perspective of like a building that's looking down at us. And you know, perhaps we shouldn't have made that door because you know the horizon line is right here. It wouldn't make sense to have a door like in the middle of the of the house. If you, if you get what I mean. Like if, if anything the door would be right here, but you know the frame uh, yeah, we're like cutting off a bit of the frame since the horizon line is here. So this probably wouldn't make sense. But you know you you get you get the idea. If you're making windows, however, you may want to um, have that done. You know, so yeah. And right now, I'm going to uh, show you a aerial a aerial view of using vanishing points. Okay, again, like the static lines, they don't change. They they stay the same. The only thing that changes is is the points the lines coming from here and the lines coming from here and how do you uh, follow those lines you just rotate your ruler and then you you draw these lines coming so okay right now I'm going to draw my vanishing point coming above me and well why why do you why would we uh, keep vanishing points at a distance you may ask right 
Yeah, well, why would we keep vanishing points at a distance, right? Well, if... Yeah, well, well, the reason why we want to keep vanishing points at a distance is that they control... They, again, they control the lines coming here, you know? As you rotate, they control all the lines coming here. And these... And this thing also controls all the lines coming at this direction, right? Now then... If we had, if we had like buildings, right, coming here, okay, and we like, you know, move these vanishing points all the way at the center, poof, it just disappears, you know. Well, it doesn't disappear. Everything just becomes a line. Like the buildings just all disappear because these lines are following this, okay. If they bring it all the way at the center, they just become one static line. It comes back to, like, it, it becomes one dimensional or something, you know, just one line, you know. That's why we keep them at keep them at a, a good distance. And if we did it like really, really far away, then that'd be like some distorted thing going on with that. Something really distorted. So you want to keep it at like a you know a just fine distance or so. So yeah. So we'll, we'll just uh, draw our buildings like if we're looking. If the buildings are looking up at us, we have our vanishing point going up. Okay, so we following this point. Yeah, so we're following this point here. Okay, we rotate our ruler. Okay, we, you don't want to like, you know, by accident come at some other at some other point and like I mean at some other spot and not have your ruler at the point because it'll just be uneven if you do that. So come so just make sure it's at that point it's even as you rotate it at that point okay let's just okay and this point is being controlled here Okay, we're doing a top box or top building. Okay, you then you just rotate it, then you just close some spots here, and then your static lines come in, they don't change at all, they just change in height. And if you wanted to like do a uh, another building part right here, you could do so as well. Just just make sure that it's staying within that this this point right here. So we have this box going on. Now I'm going to show you. Uh, since since we don't, I'm we're not on we're you know time 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 since time. I'm going to show you uh, just. An, an example of what I was doing here. Well, what, what could this um, be? What, what, what part is this? Like this is the uh, the aerial part that I'm showing you here. Okay, the vanishing point is up here. This is the vanishing point for this is right here. Is up here for this panel. You know, I even have like uh, some I tape some paper to like you know extend that vanishing point. All the lines are that are coming from here are coming from this point that you see right here I, all I'm doing is just is just rotating it you know just rotating these lines and make sure that it's at that point you know for, for all of it to match pay, pay no mind to like this the circular the circular stuff that'll come in like or this that'll come in like a later time just focus on making your boxes you know so that that's one that's one of the examples here and and I want to uh, showcase that you know it doesn't um did this isn't the same thing as well this is the this is exactly the same thing as what I'm showing you here with two point and one point perspective you may see it as like twisted but honestly all I just did was just turn the paper around and then start drawing as if it was straight this is just a cinematic effect you know so 
don't get confused confused when you see something like this you know I'll show you a three-point perspective because like the static lines still remain the same okay this isn't three-point perspective though so the static lines still remain the same for aerial and for anything that's dominant uh, same same thing for this same thing for this it's just that I am this is the same thing I'm just like I, I'm just I just turned the paper and just drew that's it I just turned the paper and drew to get that cinematic effect but uh, I hope this helped I will have I'll have more I have more going into detail about this so yeah hope this helped please leave a like comment subscribe if you have any questions in, a, in, in the comments uh, yeah if you have any questions leave, leave a comment below and I'll happily answer it so and I'll also have a video. I'll also link a video to something that you should watch, which will also assist you on your, uh, on, you know, understanding two point perspective. And yeah. And basically what one point perspective is, is just, you're not using this point. You're not using this point. You're just using one point, you know, like, yeah, you're just using one point for something like that. But, um, I'll show you that in another time. So, peace out guys, later.